Hey guys, so this is the third time I've tried to start this video tonight. Um, yeah, it's one of those nights. Um, sorry if you hear some dripping. Uh, my youngest son just got to taking his bath and it's draining and, you know, draining rather slow. And dripping. So, I got something a little different for you guys tonight. I've got a, as close as I could get to a dirt cheap shave. So, what we've got today is we've got Arco. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this camera setup here. We've got Arco, which I got these, um, it was 12 sticks for $15 or $12. Came out to like $1.25 a stick. I got my Razor Rock Plus Soft brush. Wonderful brush. Cost me all of $9.99. I've got some art, the, the Arco I smashed into here. This bowl was free because I already had it. Uh, I've got this aftershave from the dollar store we're going to try. And I was looking on eBay for the cheapest double-edged razor that they had. And I had to try a few of them because well, there's a lot that are like within like the dollar or less range, but they absolutely suck. Um, but I found this one. It's made by Remy. Or Remy. I'm getting older, I can't like see up close anymore. Uh, Remy, R-I-M-E-I. -E and it's kind of a clone of the old Gillette click razor. So what, how it works is you've got this little tab here. It opens, there's my Astro Blade. Astro Blade cost me all of 11 cents. Sits in here. So yeah, it's kind of a clone of the old Gillette click razors, which are basically disposable double-edged razors. So we're gonna try that tonight. This was 99 cents on eBay. Um, me wet my face is dried out a little bit here. Okay. Now the beauty about this brush is it's synthetic so you don't have to soak it. Just get it nice and wet. And I already, uh, Soak my Arco for a little bit. So I was debating getting rid of the goatee since uh, November is over, but I think I'm gonna keep it. At work, we've had a strict no facial hair policy for as long as I've been there, which is the last couple years. And even before that, they still have the no facial hair policy. But our boss, recently had a change of heart and we're allowed to grow facial hair for now. Wipe it a little bit. So I don't know how long it's gonna last. He really does not like facial hair. Yeah I get it. They're trying to maintain a professional image. But for right now we can grow it and we're ecstatic about it. So I've been debating growing back the beard. A little dry. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna grow the beard back or if I'm just gonna keep the goatee. Why don't you guys tell me in the comments? Because if I do a beard, I can still do videos on beard maintenance and maintaining your neckline and cheeks. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Arco is awesome soap. The scent is controversial. Uh, I used to hate it. It's growing on me. I don't mind it now. But it's fantastic soap. Uh, just a little bit of loading. And you get... Beautiful lather. It's not dry. Um, it's nice and slick. Oh yeah, that's nice. For towel-based soap for $1.25 a stick. <laughs> Can't beat it. Okay, let's get going. So that's up on me. Okay. Let's get going here. Okay, so let's see how a disposable double edge works.
pretty mild. I've used this once before. And it was a little while ago, so I can't really remember how it shaved. But it seems to be taking the hair off pretty well. Camera look good. Okay, yeah, good. Okay. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, Thanksgiving's over. I can't believe November's over and we're already in December. That just baffles me. I can't believe November just ended that quickly. Okay, I'm gonna wet my face and wear it back. Okay, back. Running a little bit there. Um, I was asked again about this. Um, I addressed it before. People ask me why I turn my wrist out when I lather. I don't know why it even comes up, but I had a fracture in this arm when I was a kid and it didn't set right. And so I can't rotate my hand past that. So this is normal rotation. This is rotation in my right hand or arm. So hence it's, it's just a little hard to bend it. So it, it's just easier to angle the hand that way. Just in case anyone else is interested because I got asked about it again. So, oh, I don't care. Okay, on to pass two. I hope everybody's doing really good. Hope you all are having some really good shaves. Christmas is coming up, so hopefully you guys are getting some good Christmas gear. Sorry, I had soap on my hands. Okay, here we go. Pretty mild. Um, it weighs nothing, so I find that I gotta apply just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of pressure to it. Not enough to get me in trouble, though. Oops. Um, I cannot go against the grain. It's, I've tried it. It's a nightmare for me. Um, I get ingrown hairs like crazy. I get zits all over the place. It's just, it's not worth it. But, uh, that against or across the grain, my hair kind of grows this way. So going that way is 
almost against, but not quite. I'm gonna rinse off real quick, I'll be right back. Okay, nice hot water rinse followed by some really cold water. Oh. oh, that was nice. Okay, so now this aftershave. Um, there's no brand name on it. It says imported by... <laughs> imported by in USA... Oh, here we are. Greenbrier International Incorporated from Canada. So this is what it looks like, and this is at the dollar store for a dollar. It's, it's green. It's green just like the bottle. I don't know if you can see that there. It's got kind of a medicinal smell to it. It's not unpleasant. It's not anything to write home about. Um, what's this having it? Alcohol, water, propylene glycol, fragrance, hydrogenated castor oil, aluminum, zirconium, tetrachlorohydrate, DMDM, hydanatine, blue number one, yellow five. So, um, castor oil. Maybe that's what I'm feeling. It feels kind of um, lotion, not lotion-y, but it, it feels more like um, maybe like a toning solution almost. It's nice. Um, it's cracked right there. So I don't know if that's something I did or whatnot, but, but anyway. Um, I actually don't really feel the need to put on a, a lotion right now, which is... Not really that normal for me. Usually I, I need a lotion to put the moisture back in. Um, I'll give it a few minutes. If I feel dry, I'll go ahead and put some um, aftershave balm on. But um, all in all, this shave cost me... $13.30 and some odd cents, um, which is dirt cheap. Um, dirt cheap. Uh, I probably could have gone cheaper if I maybe use some Barbasol or something, but, um, no, actually, no, it's, that was, the Arco was almost the same cost as Barbasol. So the most expensive thing here was the brush, which was $9.99. Uh, and really that's a steal for, uh, for a brush of that quality. You can't beat it. It's, it's awesome. It's an amazing brush. I would really encourage you to look at it. It's, uh, the Razor Rock Plus Soft. Um, but yeah, so great shave. Uh, this little razor, performed better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to fall apart on me. Um, I thought I was going to like slice my face off or something, but no, it was, it was pretty comfortable. Um, not the best shave I've ever had, but um, I'd say, and I think it's mainly just because of the weight. It's a little hard to control because of the weight and you have to uh, press just a little bit, but it's not bad. If you're, if you're looking for a dirt cheap shave, go for it. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe. Uh, hope you guys are having a great night and uh, have a great weekend.